Apsaris and Takar traveled to the land of Elia and Takasa's birth, stayed there many years, taught, and then went into other lands to the east, where they stayed and taught even more. Apsaris was 200 years old by this time, and Takar was 43. They, along with 50 others, then started traveling toward the land of the Hati. The Book of Yupansan, Yupansin, which means the last book was written when Apsaris returned back to Hati. I have returned back to Hati after being away for many years. The Hittion people were glad to see me. I have not stopped my mission, but have stopped my travels. I will stay here and teach others to go into all the earth and teach those that wish to learn the truth of all things. Takar heads the Holy Council of Kalpis. I have been in Hati for five years now and have sent out missionaries to all parts of the world. Some have even set sail to Amoria. Today, people come from all over to celebrate my 215th birthday. Takar is 58 and his hair is still golden. His skin is still smooth and tight. He does not look anywhere near that age. Instead, he looks like a man of 30. He is as strong as a bull and as healthy as a young cow. The Hittians have built a large city in the mountains, and I am living here with them. I am nearing 222. My mission is nearly over. I have called the council together and have told them that within one year, I will become a master and shall go up to the abode of Aradia, and that now was the time to think about choosing a new proctor from amongst them. The Holy Council of Caliphs is now in secret meetings, trying to choose their next proctor. I must know who the next proctor will be, as I will be not dying, but will go straight away into AKA with this, my present body. I have called my people together to tell them that my mission is nearly over and that I shall be leaving soon to go unto AKA. Some of the bishops asked me if it would be all right to send for all of my caliphs in all the lands before I left. I told them that this I would like very much, but that there was little time left. The council called me into the council chambers to tell me that they have selected a new proctor. I went into the chambers and Alexia of Lati spoke with these words. We have gone over this very carefully. There were many qualified to become proctor. Each one had all the qualities and leadership. We narrowed these down to six and from these six we selected three. These three were very capable to become proctor. They had the compassion, the pride, the humbleness, the grace, the goodness, the understanding, the love, the leadership, and knowledge. So it was hard to pick the right one. Caliph Chua had been a Titan leader for years and was a good leader. Caliph Horus had traveled many places alone to teach. Caliph Takar was your constant companion for years and a true fighter for Hitian's causes. Since we could not decide, we decided upon fate itself. So we each took a white bean, a red bean, and a black bean. The white bean was Caliph Chua. The red bean was for Horus, and the black bean for Takar. We placed these beans in a bowl and shook the bowl. Then we passed the bowl around, and we each took a bean. When all the beans had been passed around, and one bean had been removed from the bowl, we each placed our bean in the center of the table, and this is how it came out. There were four white beans, one red, and seven black beans. So Takar shall become our next proctor. We have not officially told Takar this, but he knows about the beans, as he also voted. It was he that drew the one red bean. I then asked to see Takar privately, and Takar was brought into the chambers. I asked Takar when he became Proctor what name he would select. He told me outright, then and there, I choose Beloma, as I like that name. It is a beautiful name. I have and will strive to make all Hideons have good lives, industries, trade, and refinements. I then told Takar, the QR Beth will not be quite finished. You must complete it during your reign as Proctor, and although I have started the book of Yupansan, it is you who must finish it. It will be the longest book in the entire QAR Beth, and it will also be the last book. You will know when to finish it. With this, I went out from the chambers and climbed the steps of the temple. And when I had gotten to the top steps, I turned toward the people waiting below and spoke these words. A new proctor has been chosen and will be crowned three days after my departure. His name is Caliph Takar, the Nishabad. With this, I went into the temple and chanted, My time is nearing, and today large masses of people started coming into our encampment city. Caliphs from all over the nations, the masters of Madana, the patriarchs, the matriarchs, the archbishops, the bishops, grand titans, titans, high priests, low priests, and visitors from other lands. Thousands started coming in all the hills surrounding our encampment. I went upon a hilltop and gave my last great sermon and high mass. 
Greetings, my children and friends. A hile arm to all of you. May you all be blessed with refinements and with plenty to eat, with fine home, with good health, wealth, and love. Aradia first spoke to me 127 years ago and sent me out to cover the earth and spread the truth of all things. This I did. It took me all these years to complete this mission. While I traveled, and all during my mission, I wrote the QAR Beth, which is not yet finished. Our next proctor, Baloma I, will finish the QAR Beth. Then this book is to be passed from proctor to proctor, and should it become necessary for its protection, it shall be passed to the masters of Madana for safekeeping. A time will come when the Hittian religion will nearly die out, when to be known as a Hittion will mean your life, where Hittions will have to hide and become secretive. And because of this, there will be no known history of the Hittions or their existence, except in the QR Beth, which shall be hidden away. Enjoy your right and your power now, for a time will come when you will lose this right. There are many small religions in the world today that someday will become mighty religions and will sweep the earth, enslave millions, and wipe out whole civilizations. Become a death threat to the whole world will do away with the major religions of today, will cause the Hittions to become very minor, secretive, hidden religions. But the Hittions, thousands of years from now, will once again grow strong and shall sweep the world and depress the bad religions. Even in your very lifetime, a great war will befall all of you. This very city below me will be destroyed, never to be rebuilt again. Many Hittion villages and cities will be invaded by enemies and destroyed. Many Hittions will die and will hide themselves away. Many Hittion leaders will flee to the remoteness of the forest, and a time will come when Tapos's copies of the QR Beth will mean your death. Soon I will go to a great mountaintop, but seven days journey of here and never return again, but you must go on being Hittions. You must continue to better your lives and better the lives of others. From where I now stand will spring a new city someday. That will be the city of a new religion. A religion that will believe in murder, mayhem, war, and non-freedom. Does the world choose to be enslaved? Do they choose captivity over freedom, hunger over a full belly, rags over fine garments, squalor over refinements, poverty over wealth? Aradia says, if you are positive in all your thinking, in all your actions, you can have everything you desire, that it is your right to have refinements, plenty to eat, plenty to wear, a palace to live in, gold and silver and good health. We must always strive to help each other. As a team, we must build upon each other's talents to better our lot. We must get together, spread our wealth evenly and start industries, trade routes and cities so everyone can live the way they want to live. Wherever we go, we should help others who need help. Whether we teach the Hittion way or not, we should practice and live the Hittion way. Just what is the Hittion way? The Hittion way is in helping others and passing along this message so that it travels the world. The Hittion way is living with positive action, positive thought, with helping others, with using your power within, with understanding, with forgiveness of those that have wronged you, with love of all that there is with gracefulness, with proudness, with humbleness, with listening to new knowledge, with leadership, with faith, with trust, with smiling, with laughter, with peace of mind, with happiness. This is the Hittian way. There are probably many of you who were never officially made members of the Hittian religion, but who call yourself Hittians because you practice and live the Hittian way. Granted, you may call yourselves whatever you like, you do not have to join us, but we cannot give you our secrets, as Aradia has told me many times, that because of the power that we all possess within us, we must be careful how we use this power. It can destroy as well as prolong life. It can hurt as well as help. It can make suffering as well as blessings. It can cause war as well as peace. Therefore, let those that will use it for good be decreed upon their heads a member into a select group and let them be sworn to secrecy to keep these teachings. And this I have done, and this all Hittions have done, and so it shall be, and so it shall always become so. Let us praise the Creator, the all-powerful, oneness thought, the all-great might, the great force, the all-one oneness, that it give to us, one and each, its power. 
and to honor the Creator by using this power wisely to help ourselves, to help others, and better our lives, to then enjoy the fruits of our harvest. Whatsoever you put forth, the same shall return unto you. If you put forth negative works, then negative works shall return to you. If you put forth positive works, then positive works shall return to you. Bless all of you. Keep in the good path. Go by the good way. A uh, hile arm. With this, I came down off the hill and went into my home. This is my last message to all my people, as it's been 127 years that I have spent upon my mission, and today I shall go unto Araka and go unto Akka. I am 223 years old this very day. Farewell, my children. I leave you now. Apsaris bid all his people goodbye and left alone on foot, and went up in Araka, Arat Mountain, and went unto AKA and was never heard from again. Three days after he had gone, Kihi Tomaha crowned Caliph Takar, the second proctor of the Hittion religion, and he became known as Proctor Beloma I. There was over 10,000 persons at the coronation, and the feasting lasted a whole month. Proctor Beloma then continued writing in the QAR Beth as he was instructed to do.